Gentlemen, 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 what up guys? It's your boy B in the lab, gentlemen. Another workout in the books, another victory in the books, another W is in the books, gentlemen. Sir, yes sir, yes sir. I got some new weights, gentlemen. My boy hooked me up, man. I got the Olympic stuff, man, but he gave me too much weight. He gave me the 100 plates, bro. So, uh, yeah, I had to get some, I had to get the 45 plates. The 100 plates, I mean, I gotta figure out something to do with them, man, but right now, they're actually expensive, too. So when you're a good motherfucker, gentlemen, good stuff happens, bro. But yeah, man, uh, try to pump it home, guys. You know, they got the TikTok challenge going on in the gyms, man. You know, there's just plenty of other ways to get a pump, man. You could run the stadium stairs. Just like the commenter said uh, yesterday, you know, they got uh, the pull-up bar. They sell them on the classified sites. I got a couple of them where you just put them up over the doorway. You could do pull-ups, man, or you could go to, like, the pull-up bars or... You know, it's just so, you know, you can go to the park and do dips or something, man. But you can always, I even see them free sometime on the classified ads, the pull-up bars. So there's all type of different ways, man. And, and the sad thing, too, is that, you know, some of them go to the gym for that reason. But see, a lot of them, too, they, they could scan the gym and spot you, spot like someone that they want to sink their teeth into. Like, just by scanning the gym. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. And, and it's just, yeah, try to try to avoid it if you can. Or, or get a good schedule to go to where uh, where it's just people in there working out. Getting pumps in, man. But, yeah, I, you know, I, I haven't went down the food rabbit hole yet, man. Because, you know, the commenter touched on a good point as far as food used to be medicine. It still is medicine in some parts of the country. But, you know, using food as medicine. But yeah, as far as what I want to talk about today, if Americans ate healthy, all these industries would suffer, you know. And there's plenty more. I only came up with a few. But, you know, yeah, if Americans ate healthy, you know, even these gyms would suffer, you know. Because I even, you know, I had a buddy. I used to always, matter of fact, he owned a gym. And I would always sit there and just pick his brain. And he, you know. And he even said, we don't make money off the regulars. He was like, the way we make money, we make money off the people who sign. You know, like some of these like companies, right? They give out like year memberships. Or people who will pay for like a year membership. They'll. He said the way they make money is by the people that, that, that pay for the whole year, work out like two times and never come back. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, the gyms would suffer if people ate healthy because, you know, it, you, you you wouldn't have, I mean, they wouldn't suffer a lot, but you just have a lot of, uh, you know, less people going, you know. The weave industry will suffer, you know. If people ate healthy, they their hair and, and nails, you know, zinc, man. Zinc is what makes your hair and nails grow. But you got people basically just the food they're pushing is zinc deficiency. You know, the makeup industry would suffer. That's like, um, you know, people, you know, if, if, if a lot of these females ate healthy, they wouldn't need makeup. Or they wouldn't. Lip gloss, that's it. That's all they would need. They wouldn't need no makeup. The medical industry would be the biggest, one of the biggest, um, the ones. You know, all these so-called independent nurses you know, the hospitals, the magic pill, um, you know, I'm sure there's plenty more, but I'm just, I, this is just all the stuff I could come up with, man, you know, and it's all, it's all business, man, it's all business, it's all, like, industrial, because you have to think, like, it's the same with the music, same with the music, if we push this agenda and let them rap about X, Y, and Z, then all we have to do is sit back and wait for the chaos, because if you're rapping about the Draco with the 30, you know what's going to happen. You know, if you're just pushing the same with the food. You know, if we feed them all these dead animals with all this seasoning on it, you know, it's just all unhealthy. None of it's fresh, bro. Let's just stop. You know, they want to push this fresh. It came in a big rig. They're those, especially the fast food, it's nothing but big microwaves. All those are McDonald's, Taco Bell, McDonald's, uh, Burger King. All those are just big microwaves, bro. 
all they're doing is microwaving the frozen food that came in that big rig. The, the, you know, yeah. You know, all we have to do is sit back and wait. We All we have to do, if we feed them this, all we have to do is sit back and wait for the hospital visits. Sit back and wait for them to go buy fake hair. Sit and wait for them to go buy a ton of makeup, you know. Man, I'm just talking. All this stuff is just opinion. I'm just running my mouth. And I'm actually mad I can't profit off of this. You know, this is what pains me. You know, because I think Ma Magic has owns a ton of uh, fast food places. I think Shaq does too. But like, you know, some of these dudes be saying black folk, we need to start our own. I'm not sure if Popeye's is black owned. But I guess we can't complain. I guess you can't complain as long as you have some blacks owning some of these franchises. But it's time, you know, it would be not, you know, have our own franchise, you know. And I'm actually mad I can't profit off of this. If this was, say, 20 something years ago, I'd be out there with a barbecue smoker and a big old gallon jug of seasoning. You know, not 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 no small seasoning either. But a big old gallon jug of seasoning. Yeah. You know. But see, people, and, 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 and yeah, you know, just just all, and, and this is the problem. See, they have it twisted. See, people think, I, I swear, man, it's, it's just some type of elite status to eat seasoned dead animal. People think they balling, man. You think, you know, you, you, they think they just balling because you're eating seasoned dead animals, man. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. But if you can, you know, try to at least drink some water. Or if you're gonna eat, you know, if you're gonna eat seasoned dead animals, at least no, so you know, try to try to try to help yourself out, man. Try to help yourself out. At least drink, you know, some something light, man, or something. I know it's, you know, it go in in one ear and out the other. And I'm just ranting, just talking. But you know, this is a business opportunity, man. Like you say, you got people sitting back waiting for the line at McDonald's. You got people sitting back and waiting. You know, they got big money invested behind this stuff. And whatever they can't like, uh, whatever they can't sell, they try to silence, man. And um, yeah, all this is just, you know, it's, it's just, it's just opinion. I'm just trying to manifest, cause I, you know, I, I, I try to figure out money follow the money, figure out money. But yeah, this is business opportunities. And if, like you say, 20 years ago, man, I, I would have to go get me a smoker, man, because seeing this, just like the dumpster that they had in Austin, what is that behind the uh, HEB store? The grocery store threw out all that expired food and you got people in the dumpster loading it up, taking it home. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, I think it was like a power outage or something. You know, to where they had to throw the food out and the people were going to get it. But there's, see, they were actually doing them a favor. And the people going to get it anyway. It just shows you the thought process, man. I swear, people think they balling, man. They think they just, they just, just eating dead animals makes some people, I guess, feel elite. It makes them feel like they're high class. Uh, uh, uh. Man. I don't know, bro. You know, you want to push health healthy, but I, I, you know, I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it is, bro. I guess healthy isn't popular. Being in, you know, being healthy. I even saw like a uh, there was a live stream on one of them beaches in Miami, man, and I was just looking at the people, and it was just crazy because it was like none of them actually looked like they belonged at a beach. All the people. I mean, like, uh, you know. Maybe it was the camera, maybe it was a location, maybe it was just a tourist spot. But, yeah, that's all I got today, gentlemen. Keep grinding, keep kicking, keep chopping wood, keep promoting the good word, fighting the good fight, gentlemen. Good stuff is going to happen, sir, yes, sir.